Hi, thanks for watching Authentic Science. Whenever I'm in front of a group of students, they always want to see something explode and they want to hear a loud noise. Today, we're going to make something implode and we're going to hear a loud noise. All right, so we take a, just a regular can of Cherry Coke and we're going to heat it up. Heat up that, uh, the water that we put in there. We put about you know, five, 10 milliliters of water in the bottom of a can of Cherry Coke and we want to get it to boiling. Well, it absolutely has to be boiling in order for this experiment to work. A little bit of water on the side of the can here, so you can kind of hear that uh, making some noise right now. But you'll really know when it's boiling when the vapor is really coming out of the, of the hole in the top of the can. There it goes. And we're going to tip it upside down into the beaker. There you go. A little bit of uh, loud noises and implosions. Hi. Now we're going to talk about the science behind the imploding can. Basically, all we're talking about here is liquids and gases and how close those molecules are to each other. As an example, when you think about uh, a mole or a specific amount of, of uh, water, when it's in a liquid form, about six, six tablespoons or 18 milliliters is equal to the same space that if we turn that all into a gas, if we boil it all and put it into balloons, we'd have 22.4 liters or 11 two liter bottles. That's a huge amount. If you just lined up 11 two liter bottles and then compare that to the amount of space that is taken up by uh, six tablespoons of water, that's a huge difference. And that's the same number of molecules in both places. So what's going on in this experiment is exactly the same thing. And what we do is we add a little bit of water in the bottom of this can, put a little bit of water, and we boil it. And what's in that can then is water vapor. We tip it over, that water vapor turns into liquid water and those molecules that are really far apart now come really close to each other and in that process uh, it creates a vacuum inside that can and air pressure all around that can crushes it all in that one second. So you have a, a, a very awesome experiment where that can implodes in just that moment because that water turned into a gas, but then turned back into a liquid in a split second. And that's the chemistry behind the imploding can.